All right, so what's up, YouTube? It's the Night Saint here, back with another video. And this video is going to be about my experience on the six-day fruit-only diet. All right, so let me just hop straight into it. Uh, Would I do it again? I would. I ain't going to lie. I think I'm I'm in that part of the spiritual journey where I'm, of course, I'm gaining more awareness on what I'm eating. But, you know, I'm being pulled to it more and more every day. I think that I realized, like, because let's say my normal diet. I don't eat nothing. Like I said, I really don't. I really, if I didn't, I don't like, I mean, I eat junk food, but it's like, I don't want to eat no junk food. I only eat it because it's easy access and other than that, I don't eat. And I probably only eat one time a day. I try to get my minerals and stuff, but other than that, I really don't like to eat. Like I said, every now and then, like I said, I just, I splurge in the sense where like, I just get like this bad cravings and I'm like, damn, I kind of need this. I need some Korean food or I need some, I want some fire guys or something. You know, I just got to go crazy. Like, I, I mean, I just, honest, honest to God, truth, and that's just how I am as of right now. And I'm being pulled more to just eat more clean or just to really help elevate my vibration or just period. And that shit's hard, like, for real. Like, what even called me to do it was just, I don't know, I just never did it before. Uh, and on top of that, I was taking Ormus too. So if you don't know what Ormus is like, uh, my time ago. And that, and that is the real deal. I would do a review on that, but I need to keep using it just to really experience the benefits. And I need to keep my diet clean just to really experience the benefits of that. But yeah, like doing it, but I was only eating like melons. I was eating like watermelon. I was eating watermelon, uh, they call it cantaloupe. Uh, and like, I tried some dragon fruit. But dragon fruit, not it. I ain't gonna lie, that shit overrated. And then I had some pineapple. That's really what I was doing. I was drinking water, eating those, uh, taking hard taki, taking the ormus. And I think one day I took, I drank like a, a green drink. But other than that, I wasn't doing nothing else. Like I said, I was, and I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I can do it. I ain't gonna lie. It definitely takes planning. I did it impulsively, but I did it longer than what I was expecting to. And the main reason why I was doing it, because I was just trying to, I wanted to do the experience. I wanted to clear out my body. I wanted to really, uh, I wanted my dreams to take off. That was, I ain't gonna lie. That's one thing I can say. That was probably one of the worst sleeps I ever had. Like, no cat. Like, I, I couldn't, I, I could sleep, but it was just like, my dreams wasn't on anything. Like, I couldn't, like, my dreams was just like, wasn't on nothing. I'm like, I couldn't even remember my dreams during that time. I'm like, damn. Like, I'm thinking, like, I'm sitting there with the expectation, like, damn, I'm about to start dreaming, dreaming. You know, I'm about to start really, like, have a lot of uh, lucidity with my dreams. But, no, it didn't work like that for me. Like I said, I, it wasn't working. So, I'm like, all right, well, that's part of the reason why it only lasted that short. Because I was planning to go the whole month of January and not eating no meat or not eating no terrible stuff. But I couldn't do it. I'm like, dog, man, like. The main thing I was doing it for was to really help with the spiritual part and maybe I'd stay a little longer. And that's what I plan on doing is doing it a little bit longer. I might do it in March. I mean, I probably ain't gonna do it in March so I can really prepare the best way I can. Uh, probably get the cleaner. Like I said, everybody said the cleaner just help detox your body in general. I do that. But yeah, so let me break it down day by day. The first day was... Mm, First two days, ah, uh, it was like cool. And like I said, the thing about me is, people be saying like their body be going to these modes where they just like, you know, just sitting everything out. And it's like that was not me, cause me as an individual, I take hard taki, and it just helped with just cleaning my body out. Period. So I take that every day, and I just take it to help me with, uh, of course, you know, trying to activate my third eye and clear it out, but also just with just helping my bowel movements and things like that. So. The first couple of days, like I said, it was just, you know, it was, it was whatever. Like I said, I'm just adjusting to the fact of not eating nothing, like a lot, allowing my mind to really be pulled by these foods. Like, cause I'm at work, right? You at work, you dealing with people, they got to break going to get lunch, they going to get all this fast food. And this is me speaking from a, a person that's still, of course, I know about the food and how bad it is, but, you know, it just, sometimes your ignorance is your ignorance, you know, you're going to accept it, and like I said, you, you're still going to eat it, I mean, that's how people are, but as a reason, like I said, my, my, my spirit is pulling me away from it, it's tugging me every, like, 
just like come this way, like come this way and stop really participating in these type of negative eating habits. But that's how it killed me the first two days. I ain't gonna lie. It killed me. I'm like, damn, like what somebody said, they said they about to get a patty melt. I'm like, damn, like I want a patty melt. And I'm saying I'm about to die at work. Cause I'm like, dog, that sounds good as fuck. But another thing that you also realize is that your mind is very powerful. This is one thing that I start to notice like halfway through this halfway through the six days, six through fourth day, I'm like, I'm in my head, like, for one, my mind is clear. Clear as a window, a newly installed window. Like I'm talking about like clear, like like the water being clear after washing hair for an hour. Like I'm that type of clear. I mean like the clarity was on. 100 like I felt like I can get rich tomorrow like that's really how I felt and I'm like maybe that was the Ormus working or something but it felt amazing I'm like dog I love this feeling and I was like damn like I really I'm sitting there writing everything out like oh yeah I got like I'm thinking like my whole takeover plan of what I'm about to do for the rest of the year like I'm talking about February March I'm sitting there right now books I'm about to read and make videos on and things like that and that was like my whole thing I'm sitting there like damn like I just felt I felt amazed I feel like I was a man I feel like I'm about to handle business man but people at work was telling me I was like dead like I'm like when I was at work I was focused I was like razor like I'm about to say razor I was like red laser then like I was like focused on what I need to do I was at work like I said, I was in that boy. For one, anywhere, any job I work in, I'm always gonna be the top worker. That's just me. Like I said, I just work hard. I work hard, and I'm not. I'm learning now to work hard for myself, so I can make something of myself. But I've always been a good worker. So when I'm when my mind was clear, and like I said, it was like no noise in there. It was a no fog in there. Like I can tell the difference now that I'm I'm not doing it no more. But at the same time, I am like chanting and shit. So it's helping me with like keeping my mind clear and stuff. But on there, like my mind was so clear, it, like, it felt like I did like a, like an internal audit inside my head, and like I like I set everything into like file cabinets. Like I'm like, dog, it's so organized in here. It just felt, it felt like I was floating in the void inside my head. Like, like awareness was dark, was there in all, but like I just felt so clean in my head. Like I just felt. I never felt like that before. And that's why it's, that's why it's intriguing me so much. I want to get back into it. And that's why like, all these spiritual practices are really just intriguing me. And it's really exciting me to really get back into them. Like, I'm trying to do, like, some of these more towers practice, like, moving energy throughout my body. But that's for another video. But that's how I, I just felt so clear. I just felt so pure. I just felt so clean in my head. Like I said, there was no anxiety running through it. It wasn't no negative emotions at all like i was just in my head whenever i felt anything i could push it off like let's say the fact that i wasn't eating like no regular food like i'm sitting there in my head like i'm sitting there like you know saying the mind will negotiate you know but the heart won't the heart the heart knows but the mind will negotiate and i'm keeping myself calm in this type of you know this mental space where i'm where i'm like getting used to it. i'm like dog this feel good and and that's what they say about like uh discipline or just uh changing habits, right? If you can change your health habits and what you eat, you can really change anything. Cause that's like in the terms of like hierarchy and needs, like being able to eat food is like that's important. Like I said, if you if you got food covered in a lot of things really like if you have food and shelter, like I said, nothing else really matters, right? In the sense of needing. If you can do that, like I said, you are really confirming your survival but if you can control what you eat and like i said what you need to eat and your needs and wants in terms of just consuming you can really learn to take more control of your physical vehicle let's say that your body right and you can know you can learn how to really use this vehicle to put it to wherever you need to go so when i was sitting there like damn like i can control my mind like i felt like i was I felt like I felt, I ain't gonna lie, I felt unstoppable. Internally, like in my head, I just felt unstoppable. I felt like I could not lose at all. Damn, my, my, damn, my fucking button, bro. But I feel like I could never lose. I feel like I can't lose. I mean, and that's not normal for no person like me. Like, when you go into this spiritual journey or just any type of, any 
journey of self-discovery, which that's really what spirituality is, is the, the journey of self-discovery and learning about yourself. To a certain degree, you learn that you are broken, but you fixed. And when I say broken, I mean your ego-wise. You fixed inside your beingness. Your soul, your soul is perfect, but your beingness is broken. I mean, after being, your uh, ego is broken. Your ego is traumatized. And I had to really learn that, like, damn, like, you are really the, you are really the master of your life. And the master of your decisions and the master of your plans. And if you don't believe in yourself, like I said, nothing really can, like, if, if you really don't believe in yourself, that is something that's terrible and that's detrimental to your existence. You have to gain some type of self-confidence in your life. And over this spiritual journey, I have been becoming more confident. I'm more confident now. Like I said, I'm comfortable. I'm more confident. I can say it like with a smile on my face. I was never that way, especially when I was younger. I was never confident. I was always anxious. I was always uncertain of things. I couldn't handle it. I mean, even though, I'm, even though I was very independent, and I didn't like asking people for things. I was still uncertain about moves I should make. And let's say when I took this Ormus and did this challenge, like it took me to a new level. It took me not to a confident of knowing uh, what I could do. It was more like I wasn't I am confident. I was like I was at I, I know. And, and I don't know. It just felt very pure. It just felt great. I am, I'm not going to lie to you all. So then, and then I guess also in the meantime of that happening, like, you know, just during, just not eating nothing. No, your breath stank. Your breath just smell like ass, you know, like that coat on your tongue start pulling up on there. And it's just like, I, and I was quiet. That's all oh yeah, you, another thing I was doing too, was I was just being quiet. I wasn't going around just, I was learning to not cuss, right? I was just trying to see if I can do it, just spend a, a month with not cursing, but while also fasting just to see how, it would benefit me. And not saying I cussing every word that I would say. It was just, I was quiet just because my breath was thinking, right? My breath was thinking on top of me not doing the cursing thing. So I'm like, I really don't want to be in nobody's face. And I really don't want to keep eating no peppermints to keep my breath fresh. So I'm like, let me just be quiet and just go to work. Just handle my business. So yeah, that's another thing that I did as well. And then probably like the past couple, like the last couple days, four or five and six, it was just, when I say like my hunger, like fully subsided, like my hunger fully subsided, like, of course my body felt a little weak, but I mean, that's normal. You're going through something like that when you're trying to detox, but I still like people were telling me, like, I feel like they, they thought something was wrong with me. Like I was depressed or something. I'm like, I'm not depressed. I'm just seeing how far I can take it, you know? I'm very, I'm, I'm like a mad scientist. Like I really want to be, I'm really obsessive like that in certain areas of my life. And when I came with the spirituality where I've seen that this is the, the field of freedom. And as long as you consistently do the work and really aspire, let's say like in my head, like the, the freedom comes with the astral plane, right? I'm such a kid at heart that I want to get to the astral plane and live out every dream that I ever had. And experiment on everything that I feel curious about. That's where I want to be. At. That's where my head is. That's where my life. That's where my whole life goes. It's like I, that, I don't really have any more. I mean, I got material goals, but my main goal that if I can do this, I'll be happy internally. The rest of my life is into the astral plane, consciously. And I mean, I don't. That's not gonna be no hard task. It's just that you know, you gotta you know you gotta go through it to get to it. But you know, just living the life, man. But, uh, yeah, uh, overall, it was a great journey. I like that. I want to do it again soon. So, yeah, uh, and that Ormus, oh, my God. I was using that, and I just felt so clean. I just felt so mighty. Like, I'm not going to lie. I felt mighty. I felt like I was God. I mean, I am, but, I mean, I just felt like it. Like, you know, of course, we all attached to these bodies, and you're just going about your day-to-day -day business, but, like, when you feel it inside your heart, inside your mind, inside your spirit, inside your soul, inside of your being, it just felt amazing. Like, I was at peace. Like, I felt peaceful, even though my body was just, you know, going through its thing and people noticing, like, oh, like, 
my body was kind of weak and they're like, oh, okay, man, are you okay? Because I'm normally just energized. I just be geek, man. I just be, I don't be geek, geek. But like I said, I, I'm I'm a joker. Like I said, I like to joke around. I like to, I like to play around. I make jokes, man. That's how I get through my day. That's how I keep a smile on my face. That's how I make people, that's how I bring the light around other people. I like bringing joy and, you know, to wherever I work. That's just how I am. Like I said, wherever I work is wherever I work. That's where the universe decided to put me up, I was about to say. And for people that don't get it, you know, work is one of the highest forms of yoga, right? Like I said, you know, like they said in the Bhagavad Gita, like you got to, we all here for purposes and reasons, right? And you treat work like it's yoga. You treat work like it's a spiritual practice. You do it to the best of your ability and you go about your day and you go about your own spiritual practices. Like I said, eventually you, you will be taken out these places because you have learned what you need to learn. But while you're there, take the lesson. And go about your business. And that's how I, that's how I approach life, period. Wherever I go. And I wonder where I got that from. But I don't know. Like I said, that's just something that just popped in my head when they were not younger. But, yeah. Man, that six-day vegan challenge. Man, oh, I, mm, I ain't gonna tell you. I haven't broke that shit. I'm, I broke it. I'm at the, I'm in my bed. I'm like, and you know, you just be on. I probably would have did longer if I wasn't on social media or on YouTube or nothing. I'm on social media and YouTube and I see it. I'm like. And you know, just people be making food look good as fuck. Like it be looking so delicious, and I'm like, man, fuck this shit, man. I gotta get, a, I gotta get a burger. I gotta get something. I was, I ain't gonna lie. When I ordered, when I ordered, it was, it was bullshit. I ain't gonna lie, and I, I wouldn't say I regret it, cause the thing about it, I felt like my body didn't really. I was expecting my body to do like a terrible thing, like when I started eating food again, but it didn't. Surprisingly, and I'm happy because of that. But I'm never gonna do that again. Like just be. Uh, rash and just ignorance in my body like that again, but yeah, so I was I got some Coney Island, I got some, I had some Korean food later that day. I'm like, damn, like I was just, I ain't gonna lie, I was just spending a lot of money, but I'm like, dog, it's crazy, but yeah, uh, if you felt like the video, like, comment, subscribe, like I said, stay tuned for the next one. I really appreciate y'all for watching and staying tuned, so thank you.